What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE NXT TakeOver basic figure Andre Cien Almas. And of course we do have Andre here in the packaging. You can see he does come with the blue two man pieces. He comes with the two arms and the main head for the blue two man. Andre Cien Almas debuted in NXT on January 8th 2016. We also do have a Topps trading card included. Really surprised that they included that. But I, otherwise, other figures of this line do include Kevin Owens, Hideo Itami, Ty Dillinger, Sami Zayn, and Samoa Joe. Which I'm actually tempted to pick all of them up for the two man. Call me crazy. But anyway, that's Andre's packaging for you. You can see it's in the white. NXT TakeOver logo, we have the NXT TakeOver here and an image of him here. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll move on to the rest of his review. So sit tight everyone. And so here we have Andrade Cien Almas out of the packaging. I do apologize, I think I called him Andre at the start of the review. So sorry about that, it is 4 o'clock in the morning, so expect things to be a little not on par but anyway here we do have him out of the packaging and before we get on to the figure let's actually show off his build a figure for the two men off we do have the two men's main torso his arms right here and just like with the bailey two men they are keyed so this one doesn't fit in the left hole so you have to attach it. the bigger one and I am finding it that these ones are a little trickier to put in than the one that Bailey came with. Bailey's had rubbery arms. This one just there's no click, no nothing, so it's a little hard to tell if you actually got it in all the way. I am putting a fair amount of pressure on. Hopefully, I'll get his arm on later and I'll show that off. But anyway, here we do have Andrade, Andrade out of the packaging. And before I forget again, he does come with a card. Does have a really nice image of it. Andrade then gives you some stats, gives you from where he's from, and a little bit about him. In case you didn't already know. But here we do have him out of the packaging. Andrade looks really nice. And like I said, it is 4 in the morning when I'm reviewing this. So, so sorry if I mispronounce his name again. I really do like the way this figure came out, and there was a lot that could have gone wrong with this figure, especially with the tights. Look at that. The tights look really nice, and I am glad that it's really clean for the most part. There are a little bit of hiccups here and there, but I can let it go. Before we, or Since we're talking about his details, let's actually have a look at the figure. Up close, and... As it stands, I really do like the way this head sculpt came out. It does look like Andre Andrade here. And you can see what I'm talking about when they do the fade. They don't actually do it all the way here. They left him bald. Kind of wish that Mattel would figure out how to do the fade into the hair. But it's still really nice. I do like the way the figure looks. He does have a little bit of scuffing right here on his neck. And they'll have to clean that off somehow. Nice looking figure. We can see he does have his white wrist tape. The white wrist waistband going around his tights. And then again, just a lot of nice designs on his trunks. Tights, whatever you want to call them. And again, for as much as, as, much as there is, it looks nice. And again, there's a little bit of hiccups here and there, but it's nothing that would make you say, Ah, oh, I don't want that figure. You can see this one right here is a little fuzzy but one out of all this you know it, it still looks really nice and then we do have Andrade's white boots and really love love this figure I like the way it came out really wasn't expecting to get him I mean we did see an Eva Marie figure which I know a lot of people dread getting and I don't think we're gonna get that figure so if you're an Eva Marie fan, I don't think we're going to be getting the NXT Eva Marie. That's just how it is right now. But anyway, moving on to his articulation. He does have the standard WWE basic articulation. So he does have a ball joint in the head. He can look up slightly, but it's not the best. He can look down. Now, some really slight side-to-side -side movement on his head. 
we do get left and right here, up and down. So pretty good range of movement in the head. Arms go out to about that far. Do a full 360. He spins at the bicep. Single jointed at the elbow, and again we do, are seeing this new elbow joint with basic figures where it doesn't have the peg. I don't know how I feel about that, but eh, it is what it is. He does spin and bend at the wrist. No ab articulation, but he does have a swivel in the waist. Legs do go forward and back. Uh, no outward movement, because again, he has a basic figure, no sw thigh swivel. We are seeing, do ha we do have a single joint in the knee, a uh, boot swivel, as well as a hinge that goes back pretty far, but not forward the greatest. So then we do have Andrade Cien Almas for you guys. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Andrade Cien Almas posed for my final thoughts. And just like I said, I was able to get the arm onto two men. So let's just go ahead and take the two two men pieces now. Attach them together. And now we have the blue two men complete. So we have two two men now. So there is that. But anyway, really happy with this figure. Again, I was really surprised we got him because he's not... You know, a lot of people don't really think of and Andrade here as a big NXT name, and I'm really glad that we did get, you know, somebody who wasn't an indie guy. If you don't know who those are, that's like the Finn Balors, the Sami Zayn's, Kevin Owens, which they did get a lot of those guys in the basic line. I mean, Hideo Itami, Finn, uh, Finn Balors in the ring, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Samoa Joe, they're all in this wave so I don't know what wave 2 is going to have if there's going to be a wave 2 which I really hope there is because I really do like this NXT wave I like the idea behind it showcase basic figures that we normally wouldn't get in other waves and I'm really happy with Andrade Cien Almas here if you're looking for this guy and the rest of the NXT takeover wave you're going to have to pick him up at Target Target is the only store carrying the NXT wave so if you guys are looking for them, go ahead and check them out. These basics are running you about $13 instead of the average $10, so be aware of that. But we do get trading cards with them and the build a figure for two men if you really want them. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up my review here. Hope you liked my review on Andrade C and Almas here. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go check out all my other action figure reviews. All my other WWE figures are also up, so go ahead and check those out too. And while you're at it, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and I'll do my best to bring that to you guys. And until next time, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. My dream.